Not often we get a video on the field here inside Prim Stadium in Elon because very few teams come out of here with something to brag about, and though Cedar Ridge did not win here tonight, certainly a big tie, a scoreless tie in what was really the biggest soccer match in the history of Hillsboro, at least with Cedar Ridge and Orange, because the conference title very much on the line here, two teams battling for first. This man, Eric Lewis, gets the clean sheet. Cedar Ridge gets a huge tie. Eric, did you ever doubt yourself here tonight? Oh, God. You know, last year, I thought I thought I had played my, my best game here, so I was... I felt good coming into this match, and I mean, we all knew. We all knew that we had to win this game, or, you know, we, did, we didn't know we could tie, but uh, it turns yeah. out that's not too bad either. Yeah. Um, so, so no, no, I was, I was confident coming in. How do you adjust? You've been playing in temperatures as high as 100 degrees at times this year. How do you situate yourself in temperatures when it's like 45 tonight? Oh, God, you know, uh, only difference is throw on a little thermal you know what i'm saying <laughs> uh, you know i got the tights uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty warm out here you know there's there's not much problems yeah was there more intensity for this match than any match this year oh god yeah um everyone was everyone was locked in to i mean like i i couldn't even believe it everyone everyone was focused 100 percent you have 110 percent on the field we all wanted to win it for each other for the seniors you know they've never won conference before we we really wanted to win it for them and uh, yeah, I just I just hope that we can we can do that rest of the way. In the second overtime, first overtime, there were two shots fired at you in rapid succession. There was one, and then a line drive. What happened on that play? Uh, Actually, it was late second half. I'm sorry. It was late second half. Yeah, late second half. Yeah. Um, you know. You don't uh, remember that? I, 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 I don't even know. To be honest, you know, it's yeah. uh, it's mostly reactions. It's just it's just getting in front of the ball. Yeah. Um, there's, there's not too much thinking about it. Mm -hmm. they, you know, they, they fired a lot of shots from really close today, so I, I didn't even have much time to think. I just tried to get in the right position and get the body in front of me. Yeah. you got two games remaining in the regular season, Williams and Eastern Alamance. If you win them both, you win the conference title. How do you manage that? Uh, we come out, we play like we did today, and the conference title is ours. You know? We played amazing. Yeah. I, th I, th I think we got it. I think we got it if we, if we play to our full potential. Well, next one will be Wednesday, and there will be another huge match against another traditional power in Walter Williams, who uh, Cedar Ridge defeated earlier this year. I know the Bulldogs will want revenge. Cedar Ridge will be of senior night, as a matter of fact, too. Their final, will be the final home game? No, it's East, oh, East, East, East So you got two at home East, Easter next week. coming up. Well, Eric, a huge effort. Pretty much wraps up a first-round state home playoff match for Cedar Ridge. And now I know you're thinking a lot more than that. Good luck on Wednesday. Thank you, sir.